The United States and Britain have pulled all their embassy staff out of Yemen and told their citizens to leave the country because of an immediate threat of al-Qaeda attacks. It comes after conversations were intercepted between the terror group leader Ayman al-Zawahiri and other senior members of the organisation. This is believed to be an American jet coming to collect staff from the US embassy in the Yemen. The British and American missions there were evacuated and shut down. A widespread terror threat has been narrowed to this country, the headquarters of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and the strongest performer in the terrorist franchise. The latest threat came after the US intercepted a phone call between Ayman al-Zawahiri, the Al-Qaeda leader, and his deputy in the Yemen, Nasser al-Wahaishi. Zawahiri has used internet broadcasts to whip up activity among his followers. He hopes to generate scenes like this. The last time the US embassy was attacked in Sana'a, 19 people died in 2008. Al-Qaeda's latest threat provoked the Pentagon to send military aircraft to collect its diplomats from the Yemen. The country has been a major target for US drone strikes. At least four people have been killed in drone executions in the last 10 days. The attacks do not appear to have reduced recruitment to Al-Qaeda's cause. The alert is not just confined to Yemen. 22 other US missions were closed on Sunday across 18 different countries. 19 of them will remain shuttered for a week. It will not have escaped Al-Qaeda's leaders that they have generated worldwide attention and disrupted American operations with little more than a phone call.